As gamers, we are blessed with a plethora of options for gaming. And especially on the PC side, it's now expanded. No longer do you have to have a desktop or even a powerful gaming laptop like the Legion 9, but we can have something more portable like the Legion Go. Now this video, I wanna pit these two devices together to find out which is better for your gaming experience. Now, it's not about necessarily price, but price does come to play. So if you wanna watch more videos like this on, on the channel, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon so you can watch more videos about gaming. All right, so I'm kind of making a battle between the Legion 9i and the Legion Go. Now, in terms of specs, the Legion 9i just kills it. It's absolutely one of the best spec and one of the best gaming laptops on the market. In terms of design, in terms of spec wise, you're gonna get a lot in this laptop. It's got the Intel Core i9 13980HX, which is a very powerful processor with uh, liquid metal cooling. You've also got 32 gigabytes of RAM, options of either 48 or 4090 graphics card built into this here as well, two terabytes of storage max on this, and of course, all the ports you need for connectivity. Nice RGB lighting, the keyboard feels really comfortable. I can go on and on and on about all the features of this laptop, but it's a very good laptop, especially while gaming you're gonna enjoy. Now, on the other hand, you do have the Legion Go, uh, which is one of the larger uh, portable PC gaming handhelds, 8.8 inch display. You've also got something that has detachable um, Joy-Cons, if you will. Uh, you can also put it into FPS mode to play your shooters quite effectively. And it's got a built-in kickstand and it's running Windows. Now, in terms of processor and performance, we have the Ryzen Z1 Extreme, 16 gigabytes of Ryzen and a terabyte of storage. So spec-wise, it just doesn't come close, but it offers a different experience. This is one, on one hand, the Legion Go is more portable, uh, on the go, while the Legion 9i is a uh, portable, but also a desktop replacement. So what does that mean? It means that when I'm gaming on the Legion 9i, I am getting pretty much close to a full desktop experience. I can play games like um, Cyberpunk 2077 and get about 70 frames per second or 77, 80, that kind of frame rate. I can get Doom Eternal frame rates up to 200 uh, frames per second, uh, I mean, uh, around that around that stage. So all the games I played on here on the Legion 9i really got to that point where it felt like, yes, I'm playing on my desktop. Now, with the Legion Go, it also felt that way, but a very different experience. It felt like, okay, look, I have my PC in my hand. I'm holding it in my hand and I can access all my PC games that are on Steam, whether it's uh, through Battle.net, EA, whatever platform you use to download your games, you can. Now the experience is not desktop-like because you're running most of those games at 720p. And if you've watched my video comparing the Steam Deck, uh, the Legion Go and the ROG Ally to see how they perform, you will see the performance there that yes, it is much lower, but it's a very different experience, a portable experience uh, with that. So when I pair these two together, I feel like it's not a fair comparison. I'm saying this as I make this video because they offer two different things. And I think even gaming laptops are now generally just moving to that approach. Not just the Legion 9i, which is priced at 3,149, or just gaming laptops as a whole. Now in comparison to Legion Go, it's not a laptop replacement. It doesn't do well with you know typing with the keyboard. The on-screen keyboard can be a little bit messy. And of course, it's a bulky device to hold. Now, what about the gaming experience? Gaming experience in these two devices are very different. Now, I would say this, if I'm playing a game like Red Dead Redemption, I've enjoyed it more on the Legion Go. It just feels more comfortable, it's easy to play. And again, it's a single player experience. Street Fighter VI, it's the same thing. Uh, I love playing that game constantly. It's easy to jump into and play. So a lot of single player experiences work well on the Legion Go. When it comes to multiplayer or arena type experiences or anything that requires a mouse and a keyboard, Legion 9i. That's what a traditional desktop PC does well. That's what a gaming laptop will do well. And I think that experience is really heightened by it with the nice keyboard on Legion 9i and what it brings to the table. If you're gonna have a true shooter experience and you wanna play competitively, even on the go, a gaming laptop will do that for you. The Legion 9i really strikes that pose. 
Now, the Legion Go does have the FPS mode, which you can put it down and play, but it's not a very smooth experience because you do have to remap a lot of buttons to make sure you can get it right. And still feels a bit wonky here and there. I'm not saying it's bad, it's very usable, uh, but it doesn't take to the height of experience. If you're one where you feel like your Call of Duty gameplay is very competitive, eh, don't just don't use that. I'll just say that's just the way it is. But it's still a nice alternative that has been added to it. Now, the other aspect to this device is too is the fact of price. Both of them are priced very differently. The Legion 9i is 3,149, depending on your configuration and the legion go is only 749 i believe roughly so you have a huge price difference of almost two thousand uh, dollars that really sets it apart and for a gamer it really depends on what you're looking for if you really want portability legion go that's that's pretty much it if you want performance to the max the Legion 9i brings that to the table. And I think a lot of gaming laptops will do that for you. But you've, you're saying, Thunder E, I already know that. That's almost like a given. So why make this video? Yeah, I said that, I know. Well, I think it's just to bring a very distinct uh, difference between what this device is bring to the table because we're gonna see more variations of portable gaming handles from Lenovo, from other companies in 2024 where they will add more complexity, it's, you know, things like, of course, touchpad area, which the Legion 9 has, or even keyboard attachments, like on the One X Player 2, uh, 2 Pro, that give you more of that PC-like experience. Now, you can have more of that experience on the Legion Go by using uh, dongle connectors, or even being connected to a larger display like a TV, which watching Daniel do there is a interesting experience. Uh, I will note the larger the screen size you connect it to, the slower uh, your gameplay feels, especially on fast-paced games like Apex Legends and things like that. But that being said, it is very possible and that market will continue to grow. So to me though, does that mean that devices like the Legion Eye are become, will become rarely seen as we move forward just because people are willing to take the compromise of power performance for more portability as opposed to having something this big. So, you know, it might just benefit you to have the Legion uh, Go with a portable monitor and boom, that's it. You've got a better mobile gaming experience and a lighter package to carry around everywhere you go. So I wanna know your thoughts. Where do you lie? Do you think the portable gaming PC console will, won't replace, but will supersede the gaming laptop, or do you think it will eat the market and share that? Or whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below. I'm very interested because I think even though right now there are fewer people, you know, people have jumped into the portable gaming market, portable handheld PC gaming market, I think that will grow. And I think the high-end gaming PCs might actually drop down in terms of just viability. So leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.